How did Roman aqueducts work? Roman aqueducts were an engineering masterpiece used to transport fresh water to the cities. Firstly, a water source had to be found higher than the destination, thanks particularly to the army. The Romans chose the best itinerary by establishing the slope required so that the water could be transported by gravity. The majority of Roman aqueducts were built underground, with water flowing through channels coated with hydraulic mortar, punctuated by depressurization falls. Along the way, the water passes through settling basins to allow impurities to settle out. To get through the hills and mountains, engineers used a mining technique consisting of drilling a vertical shaft every 30 meters, following the progress of the gallery. This enabled them to work faster with a team in each shaft and to check alignment using plumb lines. To cross the valleys, a bridge was built on which the aqueduct rests. However, when the arches were too high, they became unstable. To remedy this problem, the Romans limited the height to around 20 meters. When the construction needed to be higher, another story was added. A second method was the inverted siphon. The Romans built a pipe higher upstream and a little lower downstream. Thanks to the pressure, the water circulated on its own. Special valves known as sluice gates were used to divert water to regulate its flow, to split the watercourse and feed other sites like mines or the famous watermill complex of Barbigol, but also for maintenance. Once in town, the water flowed into a basin called Castellum Divisorium. The water was then redistributed throughout the city via a network of lead or terracotta pipes to thermal baths, fountains, and even the villas of the wealthiest citizens. The aqueducts were so well engineered that some are still in use today.